Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over three rubber boots that I've tested extensively in the field. I can't claim that I found the best overall option that's going to cover everything that you may encounter, but I'll go down in depth to each of these boots and why they stand out in the market. The first boot that I want to go over is the Extra Tough Men's 6 inch ankle boot. This is a fully waterproof boot. I've had this boot for three solid years, if not longer, um, if you can tell. The entire back heel is completely worn down where you can't even see the Extra Tough logo on the back. These boots I've used for everything. I use them for going to work, um, going fishing. I mean, anything that I've been able to put these things through, I have. Now there's some pros and cons to this boot. First off, um, go a little bit over this. It has slip resistant sole on it. Um, it's fully waterproof all the way up top. It's the neoprene sock up here. Nice wide opening. Uh, they do have an express cool liner. It keeps your foot nice and uh, cool for the most part. I mean, it is a rubber boot, so heat does get trapped inside of it. With that being said, some of the uh, cons about this I want to go over. It's not the best boot for being out in the field where it's muddy. As you can see from the bottom here, it's a very like almost a converse style shoe, and it's built that way for mainly deep sea fishing or being on a boat where the deck surface gets really slip so you don't slide and, and fall. Uh, I have one of these out in the field. As you can see, they are covered in mud, and that's kind of another negative I want to talk about this. It has some type of coarse texture on it that I just can't get the mud out of. Now, I've beat the snot out of these boots, so it's kind of like ingrained inside the texture. I will say with these boots, one of the uh, some of the feedback that I've seen, I haven't ran into it, but it might be because of something that I do with it. A lot of people say that this boot will crack uh, within like where, where the flex is here or the sole comes off. I treat all my boots. I actually use like olive oil and I'll rub it on there just to keep the kind of just like, a, I guess, a moisture inside of this rubber because it can dry out. I also have a boot uh, cleaner that I've used inside that and that does the same thing. I think it's like a silicone base that just keeps that rubber from cracking. If you're looking for, you know, just an all around boot that you can wear anywhere um, that you're not necessarily going to wear in muddy places, I would highly suggest these extra tough boots. They retail for $105. They come in multiple different colors, a couple different styles too. Like I said, I have not, I've torture tested these things and they have not broke on me yet. So still good all around boot for the most part. Uh, next boot I want to go over is the newest boot to me. It's the Dive Bomb Trudge Boot. Uh, this boot is a waterproof neoprene upper construction again, much like these. Um, they look almost identical to each other, but there are some key differences that I found with these boots. They do have an extra wide mouth, nice pull tabs that you can see. Um, the other thing is they do come in six colors and they do come in a lot of camo colors. So Dive Bomb, if you don't know, it's, it's more of a duck hunting company. So the, all their stuff is geared around duck hunting. They have a really cool logo um, on them as well. And the branding is kind of all over the boots. This, once again, very similar texture to here. But so far, I've been able to actually scrub the mud off of these. The one thing that I like about this boot over the Extra Tough boot is this sole. As you can see, uh, a lot more traction on here. This is the boot that I've been wearing. If I'm going to go out in the fields, I'm going to lay out um, a bag of corn or I'm going to put up check on trail cams. And I don't want to put my hunting boot on or I wear these into the field, then put my hunting boot on. This has been my boot of choice. This traction versus this traction is a huge difference. Um, I'm not falling and busting my butt like I have with these and I've wiped out numerous time with these boots. Um, I have worn these in the snow recently. We just got hit by ice and snow. Uh, it's frigid outside. And I wore these for the last couple days and I haven't fallen. They've, they've, they've been a great boot. I have nothing bad to say about this boot. Uh, one thing I do love, the sole, whatever the sole is inside this, is crazy comfortable. Um, it's almost like it feels like a slipper when you're putting it on. If you're looking for a boot also that's easy to slide on and off, these are going to be your go-to. These fit a little bit tighter on the ankle, then this is going to be the widest, and then I'll get into these. These are really tight. All right, the last boot that I want to go over is the Muck Apex Men's Zip Ankle Boot. This is a much heavier option compared to all these. First off, it's 100% waterproof construction all over. Uh, it does have this bio-dewax antimicrobial foot pad inside of it. 
I think they've done that because this is a really warm boot, and if your feet is going to be sweating, um, kind of helps keep out the, the foot funk on it. Uh, it's got moisture management. It's very warm and insulated, like I just said. Lockdown zipper system. Um, and it feels like more of an overall hiking boot. Now, the way this boot is different than the rest of these is that it has this uh, Velcro zipper system. So you're going to un-Velcro this, and then you zip this open to open up that. And then it's got this nice neoprene sleeve in there. So no water is going to leak through if you get any high in the water. Zip it up. Big, nice industrial zip that's actually got a seal on it as well. Um, and then, you know, pull tabs again. Got a little bit of stretch with this neoprene sleeve. It's a great boot. Um, my biggest negative on it is that it's a heavy boot and you feel that after a while when you're hiking around and it's a warm boot. If you're using this before late fall, um, your feet are gonna sweat, they're gonna get hot. I've tried to use this turkey hunting before and it didn't work out for me too well. My feet got just really, really warm. Um, but it's also not like an over insulated boot. You can't use this boot when it's 12 degrees outside like it is today. Uh, this is not gonna be a boot that I'm gonna use super cold. It's great for shoveling driveways. It's great for if it's gonna be sloppy and muddy out, great boot for this. Um, if you're just trying to keep the elements out and you want something that's nice and you are going to want something that fits a little bit tighter to you, awesome boot for this. Great tread pattern on the bottom, real blocky and thick. It's got an anti-slip sole on this, so that's like that gum rubber feel. I will say, if you're wearing jeans with this or anything, it does have a wider throat on it. So it's it's gonna fit more like a, kind of like a work boot. If you had a steel toe, like cowboy style work boot, that's how this thing really fits with uh, pants or anything like that. So your pants are gonna ride a little bit higher on there, at least you got like a boot cut pants. So that's the uh, Muck Apex Zip boot. Overall, all three of these boots excel, I think in different ways. And that's why I said I can't, can't claim to find the best all around boot for everything. For my style, what I'm gonna wear a boot for and what I'm gonna use it for, a rubber boot, I would I would probably gear towards these dive bombs in this in the fact that I can wear these out in public, I can wear these to church, I can wear these to work on a rainy day, I can go out in the field in them. Um, I think the big thing for these is that this has a nice traction bed where these do not. Um, and I think these would probably take the cake on all around usage. But when it comes to colder temperatures, that's where this boot shines. If I'm on a deck of a boat, that's where this boot shines. So they, like I said, they each have their differences. Um, I've tested a couple other boots that I've had in the past. Either they broke down or they just weren't comfortable. These are the three that completely have shined for me overall. So if you guys like this review, go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe so you know when I'm bringing stuff to you. Um, and as always, get yourself some Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel and keep your feet dry.